Hello everyone, <laughs> this is the GSO Jenkins Docker Base Quick Start Meeting and today we have Berionto Ashutosh of course, Jean-Marc Messen back from vacation, thanks a lot for coming, and Stefan Mayer who is also coming back from vacation, thanks, thanks a lot for being here. So, um, for the people who weren't uh, aware, I think it's just Stefan, uh, Ashutosh has moved back to school uh so he's not at home anymore and of course he doesn't have as much time as he used to have before school so uh don't get upset if you think that things aren't progressing as fast as they were before uh it's perfectly normal so um what do we have a few action items we'll detail them maybe later on but maybe first of all uh let's how, I don't know how this is called, you know, um, temporary checking. How is everyone doing? Uh, is everything okay on your side or is it hell on earth? Ashutosh. Yes, uh, on my side, it's fine now. Uh, this week I did uh, get, got busy on uh, some chores for uh, here, uh, setting up my desk and all that going to buy groceries and all that. So now I'm set up. OK, Jean-Marc, how was back to home? <laughs> uh, everything went well. Uh, had some surprises in the garden. But uh, other than that, uh, ready to fly in and get in sync what has been done while I was away or partially. So looking forward for the update. Cool. And nobody is mowing the lawn uh, just next to you today. <laughs> you have no. two screens or more, so it's really more comfortable where you are now. No, uh, even if... uh, just yeah. very shortly, do you want to see how flowers of radish look like? Oh, radishes flowers. Yeah, I think I know them, but yeah, of course. Oh, They grew, they grew over. Of and course, it was kind of hot and dry so of course it went into flowers yes but keep the seeds and you'll get some new radishes later on <laughs> why not <laughs> okay thank you Jean-Marc but we will miss your background I don't mean that I don't like this one but I was preferring the one with lots of uh, trees uh, behind you it was way more relaxing for us at least Stefan Yes, you you want some some privilege uh, chatting and everything. So what's back when I went back from holidays, my neighbor had been a huge wall between us. Oh no! <laughs> you know you you know what? It's it's great because it's it's nice. Oh. They did it nice on my on my side too. So in fact, I'm I'm super happy because I didn't pay a, a penny on that, and that looks really nice. So I would probably buy them something to to thank them. But but that's what I discovered. But I was having alert from my uh, um, camera outside, saying telling oh. me, oh, there's people in the garden, but freaking out. And in fact, that they were building the the wall. So that's fine. Okay, surprises. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice. <laughs> Berviento, any surprise on your side? I don't have anything because you know, I guess as usually uh okay. I have my own on my, my own work. Uh-huh. Of okay. course. So, I think only only French to... people are talking about private stuff and yeah, of course. And and <laughs> <laughs> the other one are just walking, you know. That's the way. Mm. Yes indeed. So back to work now. Thanks a lot for sharing that with me. Um pull request. I know I gave tons of work to Ashutosh uh, because I was kind of afraid he would be out of work <laughs> He's out with me on vacation two weeks ago so the work from two weeks ago kind of shifted to uh, last week and it's not perfectly finished now but that was something to expect of course uh, the Python tutorial is ready to review am I right Ashutosh Yes, yes. I forgot it was a draft pull request, and so I, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, make, I should have make it clear. told you. I had a doubt, in fact, because it was already working for me. So yes. I was wondering if you still had some, you know, some screws to tighten or things like that. So I let it this way, but I maybe I should have let you know that I was ready to review. So 
uh, please mentors have a look at the Python tutorial and review so that we can merge it as soon as possible. Next, uh, there was a big one about GitHub Actions PR. I had given a draft PR as an example, but frankly, it was working. Um, it was working, but it was far from complete. So it was kind of misleading. I was thinking that it would be kind of easy to apply that draft PR to the current code. And no, uh, that's not the case. There were a lot of uh, traps, tricks, and so on. So that has proved being difficult for Ashutosh. And some of the difficulties were all my fault because I had made some, um, had done some how to do that shortcuts and things that were working automatically. And I think that was because my code was perfect. No, it was just because jobs were running all by themselves because Jean-Marc, you asked for, you know, every two minutes, some jobs have to run all by themselves. And I thought that my call requests were doing all the hard work, which was not the case. So my fault. Um, Ashutosh, is this one ready to review too? Yes, yes. I have added the post command that uh, turns on turns on the build. So it's working now. Okay, fine. I'll review that later on today. And for the people asking, why are they doing some GitHub actions? Uh, I mean, people in the audience, because of course, all of you know about that. Uh, that's because that the very first step, it's kind of easy to set it up and it's, you know, kinds of baby steps. So we know how to test our Jenkins instance. And then later on, if time permits, we'll convert that into um, a Jenkins job, Jenkins pipeline that will check on another Jenkins in CI, uh, Jenkins.io or something like that, Stefan, uh, you know, things that your team handles for Jenkins project. That's why. Uh, so that's good news. If this one is uh, finished and the Python tutorial is finished too, and we had two other um, work items. I was searching for the right term uh, for okay. last week, which were a problem with uh, the SSH key generation, but it got solved. Uh, Maybe merge? I can't remember, Rashidosh. Did it got merged? No, the, the issue is open, but uh, there is no PR. So it's and no PR because issue. it already works. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, then we have and still have a Gitpod reverse proxy setup, which mm. seems to be broken. Uh, has any one of you any input, hints, uh, feedback about this one? Because I'm kind of puzzled. I thought it was just the matter of having the same thing in the JCASC uh, configuration as the one we have in the browser uh, address bar, you know, uh, because for the examples I have, most of the time, I just have to change in the UI uh, so that the URL in the Jenkins setup is the same one as the one in my browser address, and then I'm done. But it doesn't seem to work for Ashutosh. So if any one of you knows anything about that, please let us know. I'm writing that down. I don't remember. Oh. Um, here, uh, what? Just by priority, I thought having a look to the two PRs, and then look, uh, or what would help a shootosh most? I think the, he has spent. Were... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. They were they were proxy proxy issue right? yeah. because I have, I spent today and day uh, the day before to on it and it's not I've tried nginx uh, and HT, uh, Apache two and uh, another one but it's not working I think it's because uh, uh, Gitpod uses port in the URL itself it mentions a port in the URL uh, so it's when it's it uses the port eighty eight it mentions that in the URL. I'm not sure about it, but I think that could be the case. Uh, I discovered some things this week also uh, thinking about that because I was making some tests on a kind of library I'm trying to write using curl to interact with Jenkins, whatever. Uh, as long as you don't click on the make public, it looks like the URL you are trying to use 
uh, is not accessible even from within um, the Gitpod workspace. You know, I was trying to make some curl to my 8080 something uh, Gitpod IO and it wasn't working. And then I clicked on the very bottom right uh, of the screen on make public and then bam, automatically it started to work. So I don't know if this has anything to do with that, but maybe it's worth checking it out nonetheless. Uh, Bervianto, do you have ideas or experience on that? Um, I'm sorry, I haven't, I haven't checked it. Mm. Uh, no, don't you, you, you don't have to be sorry. Word. It was just in case. Sorry, jo go ahead, John Mark. Yeah. Okay. And Stefan, I've never know. played with with Gitpod most of the time, so it's brand new for me. Okay, I'll I'll sorry. put my teeth in that problem and try to. Oh, thanks, Roger Mark. In. In, in share. So I need to get my week organized correctly. <laughs> yeah. But then I will have, uh, I have a look in and maybe discuss with Ashutosh to know what he already experimented. In, in so but to, to, to clarify, you said that even within the Git pod, the resolution is not working. So, so the, the reverse proxy is not working even within it. As far as I understood, yes. So uh, Bruno, yeah, Bruno, go ahead. Bruno, Can you confirm Bruno is that? typing, so he's not. Yeah, I'm only two neurons, so I can't uh, understand yeah, so why the, I'm typing. They are both busy. Uh, <laughs> when you say that the pro reverse proxy is not working, you mean even within the Git pod, not from outside? Oh, both yes, of course, know. within the Git pod workspace. You know, if ever you are trying to yeah. Uh, yeah, get it to work uh, within the Jenkins UI or from the workspace with a curl command, it does not work. But I haven't tried yet to solve the problem by clicking make public on Ashutosh yeah, example. I, I did it on that, a separate. Because uh, yeah. from from the back, uh, from the, the uh, SRE uh, point of view, uh, the fact that to, to when you push the make public, that probably uh, open ports and, and do the routing and everything. So it should not have any effect on the on the inside of the Git pod yeah. from the top of my head, of course, maybe they have crazy stuff that are making <laughs> it to work, but but I don't see the point of having any, any rules within the pod, but maybe. The environment is running on um, uh, in a pod, in a Kubernetes pod, uh, it has some special behavior. Uh, just a reminder, what we're trying to do is to get rid of the warning in the UI. Yeah, in the UI. Mm. Because uh, if somebody, we want to show a tidy uh, Jenkins system and with no warnings yeah, or, or I got that. things. So, yeah. yeah, you're right, of course. They, they, and I, I got that. Yeah, okay. no plugin updates to I do. Know. And yeah, no reverse proxy because any error is, ah, uh, why should I try this tutorial? It doesn't start. Clean enough for me to invest time in that. <laughs> so yeah. that's why. And what puzzles me is that it used to work. Uh, or did I daydream? Yeah, yeah. Well, I also probably tried, daydream. I, I also tried to uh, uh, remove the, the, like there is a dismiss button in the UI. So I tried to search for uh, if I can do that with terminal in, inside uh, the Git for itself before running the Jenkins. But I couldn't find anything that does that. Is there an easy way to do that to remove the warning? Even if it's will, not sorry. Yeah, there's the other option indeed. So we could suppress uh, the the error. Here I'll do I'll, I'll do some research on on it, gather, try to understand where is or what is causing this error, what is the root cause of it, and uh, maybe explore couple of solutions uh, yeah because unfortunately i uh, let you all alone Ashutosh, with that and you spend some time with ha proxy and another one i know the term reverse proxy is kind of uh yeah maybe not the best one in this situation so that may have misled you into a dead end but none of your fault i wasn't there and the message is pretty puzzling i would say Okay, uh, anything else about that? Not just that. 
Okay, uh, so thank you so much, Jean-Marc, for proposing to have a look at that. I will also have a look on uh, my side uh, experimenting with Gitpod, and hopefully the two of us will find a solution in the end. That would be nice. <laughs> for the Python app, I've already used it. I've not reviewed it, but it's working for me, so I guess it will work also for all of them. Um, let's hope so. And for the GitHub action, I haven't seen it work yet, but I have to see what has been going on and uh, hopefully it will work correctly. So you're able now to uh, launch uh, jobs uh, via yes. call. Yes, That's it was cool. working for me. That's hey, well done. Cool. Yeah, uh, and I can't remember, do we go the whole process like um, creating an admin token with a crumb and then using that admin token to make the other call request, or are we just using admin admin? I'm using token. Okay. Wow. Yes. That's cool. Oh, but, I need to yeah. look at that. Hey, well done. Okay. Yeah. And firstly, I used build with parameters uh, in the post command, but that was not working correctly. So I just used the build option. That worked then. Okay, but that's quite a lot of code lines and that may be difficult to maintain in the long term. So I don't know, I'm currently experimenting on another repo. I'm trying to write some kind of bash library uh, in order to have fewer lines of codes uh, because I don't want to make a modification in that six months from now. <laughs> uh, it will prove difficult. We, we, uh, we could uh, separate the uh, scripts as well we have to recommend it uh, in the GitHub actions. Yeah, sure. Uh, Bevento, would you have anything to add regarding that? Because you are the one who proposed to CPR, uh, separate uh, the script from the rest. Um, it's just for readability because it's quite hard to read. Um, yeah, when we have the script in the EIML. You're right. Um, what else do we have? So, yes, I was not finished uh, when the meeting started. My fault. I was trying to get the uh, work items we're supposed to work on uh, this week. So the first one was build a Node.js and React app with NPM. Once again, there is a draft PR that shows that how this could work. It's not perfect. Uh, for me, it was working, but of course, it needs a lot of TLC. That's just a sample to get you started, you know, some kind of bootstrap. Um, we have another one, which is, come on, push the images to Docker Hub. Uh, this one, we'll see. Uh, I would love to see that. And why would we push the images to Docker Hub? by the way. Um, I was discussing with Damien Duportal a few weeks ago, and he told me that, I think we already had the discussion, but that's just a summary. Um, if ever somebody on the non-supported or untested platform was trying our tutorial, and it was not working because we never tried on S319X, for example, or mm -hmm. PPC64LE, then ah, it would be kind of um, deceived, of course. Frustrated. That's the term I was looking for. Thank you, Jean-Marc. So the goal for that is to provide a set of images for a definite list of uh, architectures platform so that we supply it, for example, for AMD64 and ARM64, and that's all. That's it. Done. So we'll say in the documentation, this tutorial has to work on an Intel, AMD, whatever, or an R64 machine. If ever you have something else, you're on your own. So the goal there is to build regularly and to push to Doc Hub the images we're using so that we can once more simplify the tutorial. But the build process will have to keep it somehow for the test part so that the CI one day in CI Jenkins IO can build the images locally, test them, maybe on some other architectures, so we'll know one day if we can put it to another architecture. 
that's just the goal of it. But there are quite a few challenges, in fact, uh, in that. Uh, once more, it's GitHub Actions. So I know you learned about GitHub Actions quite a lot uh, recently, Ashutosh. So that's, that should be an easier step than the first one you had with um, testing with GitHub Actions. But also, you have to learn a little bit about Docker registries. Uh, what are they? How can we connect to them? You'll have to add some variables. Uh, how are they called? I think they are called secrets in your GitHub repo and so on. So that could go fast or very slow. <laughs> we'll see. Would you have any questions about that? Uh, so yeah, uh, in this uh, script, like I, I've used uh, uh, Docker Hub uh, and pushed uh, my custom image before. So will it be similar with variables? Something like that. Cool. And I think we have a next one. Oh, uh, this one, frankly, the milestone is next Sunday. I'm not so sure we'll make it. Um, once again, it's Damien's fault. Uh, uh, we were trying, we were discussing about uh, the shell file. It's also because of Mark and because of Jean-Marc. We all say, OK, but what about uh, the Windows users? How will they do if they don't want to have WSL? Uh, of course, we propose to write some Docker shell, uh, PowerShell sorry, uh, files, but that's not good enough. So the goal of this one is to get rid definitely of the bash files and just work with the Docker Compose up. And yeah. that's all. So once again, uh, there is a draft PR <laughs> that I wrote, a proof of concept that kind of works. Uh, it still uses your Jenkins in its script, of course. We won't put it into the trash, but this script now will be part of a Docker image and not directly used on the end user uh, machine. So I tested it on Windows and it worked. I tested it on Linux, uh, AMD64, and R64, and it also worked. So I'm pretty confident this one will work. But uh, I, it may make some uh, knots uh, into your head. Um, it's difficult, you know, because we are all accustomed to uh, using these bash files. And now you have to think of another level with another Docker file that will use that bash file. So, you will maybe need some time to think about it, to draw some uh, schemas, some graphs, something on a piece of paper in order to understand uh, what it does and why it does it this way and why we are choosing that and the whole workflow and so on. So you may have lots of questions along the way and that's perfectly normal. Oh, uh, Jean-Marc, I know I talk too much. Uh, is there anything you would like to, to add? No, the, the thing that we need to be aware of and uh, think of, and this is what I was thinking about, um, and maybe something we could discuss more in depth uh, offline, is we need to make sure that uh, the objective milestones and priorities are correctly uh, set uh, and that we we work on achievable goal. Currently, I don't have the global view, so I don't know where we want to go. And uh, basically, it's arbitrate. Is this interesting, useful, or critical? Yeah, the thing so is, we're not using Kanban yet. So we have milestone, but within the milestone, if ever the milestone was correct, because I did it out of the blue, um, we we can't reorder, at least in the GitHub repo directly, we can't reorder the task for a defined milestone. So yes, we should maybe talk about that. Uh, I, I don't know if we have the time to create a Kanban. I think that uh, uh, Hervé uh, used the, the to do to do project stuff from GitHub to be able to yeah. order issues. You may have a, a, a kind of a solution by that way. We we wanted to go that way, but it's just at a certain point, uh, beginning of July, 
uh, we thought the milestones were uh, precise enough. Um, Numbering just the, not the to, issues just not, may, may but, be uh, good enough. But don't forget that currently Ashutosh is the only one working on, on these items and we're just looking. Uh, so the, the danger is to over-engineer it and to add yet another tool. That's so, why you, you, if if what you say what you say is, is bringing that that kind of solution by just putting a number in in the beginning of each line of issues and that way that should be sorted by that oh. number, don't you think? Yeah, mm. I'm not sure. Saying that yeah, from but, the blue, like you said. But first, I I I'd need to get personally. I need to get back and have a discussion with uh, Bruno just to, to check. But this is my worrying self saying well what is important what is not important and do we focus on the right stuff i think ashutosh yeah. already heard that song <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh the thing is i don't want ashutosh to be out of work so maybe i gave him way too much work and so that's uh, normal if he can't uh succeed i would say uh in the milestones and that's pretty bad for uh, his feelings about the project. That's right. But well, we could return the question at the end. I don't want to interfere, but uh, and ask Ashutosh for the feedback. What does he plan to work on uh, this week and to deliver? But uh, I don't want to interfere in your meeting. It's not my meeting. It's our, our yeah, <laughs> meeting. Agreed, agreed. So I, I, I'm coming back from holiday, so I'm still my my yeah, mind yeah. is still frozen. Uh, I think there are a few quick wins uh, for this week that maybe could help us number the priorities. Uh, the first thing to finish, I guess, would be last week's um, with the Gitpod reverse proxy. So if we can help today or tomorrow. Uh, to close this one, that would be nice. Then uh, uh, the Python, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, for are you talking about the task for Shutosh or for the project as a whole? The project as a whole, because uh, I think I agree. this task needs uh, yeah. your help, reverse, my help. Yeah, and, yeah reverse kind proxy, of I agree. Yeah, if I, I ever agree. we were to make another demo, you know, this week on the Docs Office Hours, for example, that will be troublesome. You know, I don't want to see that anymore. Yeah, I agree. I agree. First thing. Then I was talking about quick wins because Maven was the Maven tutorial was difficult to write, but once we wrote this one, uh, then Python one was kind of easy, I would say, Ashutosh. Yes. And for so the Node.js and React app, it's more or less copy paste and then change a few things, remove a few packages, add a few other packages, but the workflow should be more or less the same. So this one is a quick win. Maybe you could do that early. I don't know if the others will uh, agree with me, but um, I, that could be something you do in the beginning of the week that you get the right stamina. You know, I can do that. Yeah, the project does work for me. And then uh, tackle with uh, something more complicated like maybe put the images to docker hub and maybe at the end of the week uh work on get rid of the mandatory bash file but i'm kind of reluctant for this one because i'm not so sure you will be able to finish it by the end of the week and frankly finishing the week on something that doesn't work <laughs> i'm not so sure it's good for you or us jean-marc what do you think uh for me it sounds uh, like a very good plan and well well thought so I'm interested to hear what the Shutosh has to say on, on that. Yes, I also think uh, I think the Node.js one should be done first. I, I agree with it. To... Okay, and what were the two last words that you said in the previous sentence? Uh, you don't Nord... remember. Okay, I don't remember. No, <laughs> no further. I don't remember. Okay, but uh, the plan as led out by Bruno sounds sounds good, and these priorities are are sound. Cool, thank you, Jean-Marc. Fine with you, Bavianto? Yeah, 
fine. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what is? I think that's all we had for this week's work items. Let me check. Yes, I think we good to go with those um so the milestones were kind of arbitrary i just cut them into weeks so that we don't have have the tunnel effect you know each week we have to deliver something uh, but the priority i did not discuss them with you so if you don't agree uh, now it's time to um, tell me about that so we can just change it the 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 ones for this week's were because i had some uh, discussions with damien with mark and that's the things that shocked them when we were demoing um, the tutorials. So that's why I put them in a higher priority in the milestones. But for the rest of the milestones, I don't know if we can uh, uh, talk about that or if the right place, right time. But um, maybe some of them are more urgent and should be moved. Um, maybe not. Come on, Internet, you can do that. Um, let me check the issues. It's kind of small, I guess, for you. Let me make it bigger. So, milestone. So, we still have seven of them. Last week was week 29. We already talked about that. We have seen the ones from the week 30. So, next week, we should have... A small one about installing GH in Gitpod. Frankly, it's not urgent. Uh, then this one may also move. Uh, find a way to automate the four clone part of the tutorials. Lots of you and others like Mark, Damien and so on said that would be a nice part to keep. But for the automation part in the CI, you know, for the tests. But for the end user, mm -mm, that doesn't sound like such a good idea. So... Maybe we could shift this one later on in this process or just forget about it. Then we have keep the plugin list up to date when building the Docker image. It sounded like it was kind of urgent for me because uh, we told that earlier in the meeting, when the end user starts the tutorial, he doesn't want to see any warning, any things to do. He doesn't yeah. want to have to update the plugins. Uh, he wants just to deep, to deep start. dive into yeah the tutorial doesn't want to know about the plugins and so on not yet so that's why i chose this one and frankly for the time being i've been more or less doing it uh, by hand i say more or less because i have a script but it's not yet linked to github actions or jenkins itself so that's why i say manually so i've been doing a few uh, pull request recently to try to keep the plugins up to date and you may have seen in the repo that the list of plugins is not the short list of plugins we used to have now we have the whole big list of plugins even the one we didn't know about this is the list of plugins that were installed by default by jenkins and we have to keep it updated the whole list updated because if we only update the set of plugins we are interested in the end user will have the warning in the UI when first starting, which is not what we want. And that's why it's in the week 31. Um, what else? Do not build the image. Uh, I Bruno. can't remember anything. Yes, go ahead. I will have to drop. I uh, need to prepare for another meeting. So I'm, I'm sorry. So I'll... You don't have to. That's fine with me. You'll, 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 you'll keep me posted. We talk to each other tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. <laughs> Spread yeah. pleasure. Thank okay. you, Lamar. See you. Uh, sorry, you. Uh, just checking who who is the. Um, I am. You're the meeting organizer. So I if think I, I am. You you I can leave and it won't shut off the meeting. Okay. Thanks for. So bye bye. That. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Uh, no end meeting. No, you're still there. No, <laughs> okay. So this one is the second part of the Docker build and push image because for the time being, uh, we are building locally on uh, the end user computer or on Gitpod. So the first step for this week is to build and push images to the Docker Hub. Okay, but then we'll have to use these images within our scripts or Docker Compose. So that's the second part of 
the job. Uh, is week 31 okay for everyone? Or do you want to postpone some of them, cancel, or yeah, postpone, cancel? We can't put some in uh, this week because we're already kind of busy. So, uh, if we complete everything from this week, then we can add. <laughs> You're ambitious, I like that. <laughs> okay. Why not? Uh, yes, feel free to uh, start something else if you're done with all the tasks from this week. Uh, I would like to see that. <laughs> okay. I, I also uh, want to talk about this. Uh, forget about pipeline and move to multi branch pipeline. Okay, let's go. So, once more, uh, it's not from the top of my head. Uh, it's after having a discussion with Damien, uh, I think. Um, because, yeah, freestyle, maybe Stefan, you know better than I, but freestyle is kind of old, uh, very old, and not recommended anymore. To tell you the truth, we only use multi branch pipelines. So. Yeah. Pipelines are kind of cool, but uh, frankly, in my daily job, I don't use them. Uh, it's not powerful enough. Of course, as we are using Git, GitHub, GitLab, and so on, we need to have multi-branch PRs, uh, multi-branch, sorry, pipelines, because we are working on several branches. You also do it, uh, Ashutosh. Uh, we are doing some PRs, some reviews, and so on, and frankly, having the jobs created automatically when you create a new branch or you create or receive a PR. Yeah, what else, uh, frankly? So I'd like that we move all the tutorials to multi-branch pipelines. So what was not clear uh, for you, Ashutosh? Uh, I didn't understand the difference between completely the why we are doing that. So I got it now that the pipelines are not used, then they're used. Multi-branch yeah. pipelines are preferred. And I think it's not that much. Uh, I, I, I could be wrong once again. <laughs> but uh, if I remember well, in the config.xml file that defines a job, there is just a property that lists the kind of job, and it's just a different value for the property, and you're good to go. I, I think you could do maybe better uh by changing other things here and there but frankly just changing that and starting the process should do the trick um maybe huh i'm not so sure the uh automatic scan of all the prs and branches will be done maybe that sh will be um... everything everything can be uh, um uh, config everything is configurable how deep oh. uh, what you you can exclude you can include you can... there is Tons of configuration on that. Cool. And you can um, say no to trigger uh, a rescan. We had to do that for, for CI Jenkins because there were so many branch that each time we, we changed a, a value, it was rescanning everything and you were killing this the VM. So uh, we had to fine tune all the configuration. That's really huge. You can do whatever you want. That's good to know. Would you have any link, maybe not now, but later on in the process, uh, would you have any link to share where we could see uh, an example of uh, your team, Jcask, uh, if it's available? Yeah, that's probably that's probably a Jcask somewhere. Yes, I can try to find that out. I did that with Damien and I kind of remember, but I had three weeks of holidays, so I will Of course, brain work. Well, I'm at my brain. <laughs> Even the weekend does that for me, you know. <laughs> so three weeks. Yeah, well. but you, you, that's that's the by fault, of course. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Stefan. Any other question, Ashutosh? No, that's it. Cool. Uh, so, is this week at school um, any special? Do you have uh, no, uh, more I things like this week is probably i can take uh, i will i will take two days that are not important so oh 
I will only go out, go for two days this week. Cool. You have only cool. two days of school today. To this week. This week, yeah. No, but yeah. I have four days, but the two days are not important. So there is no important lecture. It's just. That's oh, you're I going didn't hear anything. Important. Okay, you, <laughs> you choose where you go. Yes, yes. I hope your parents don't watch these videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, did you discover anything exciting uh, last week at school or not yet? You know, any other language, framework, uh, methodology, whatever? Not yet? No, not yet. <laughs> It will come. I, I hope so. I usually I usually learn that uh, from the internet because it's more like hands-on work on the school. They only mainly teach theoretically. I am not really good with lectures. If I oh. don't do it myself, I don't get it that much. You have to experiment. Get your hands dirty. Okay. Yes. That that's the best way. I guess so. I won't show you my hand, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> anything else? No, that's it. Okay, Berbionto? No. Stefan? Um, let me think. Uh, no, that was very useful for me. Thank you. Really? Oh, yes. so kind of your. Thank you. Yes, because uh, um, you know that's another way of of running a, a visual and and to how to uh, handle people around so that's not the way we're used to so it's it's very interesting you did oh, a good really? job you don't you don't even see that but you did a good job no <laughs> you're so kind Stefan uh well you should go in on holiday more often uh, <laughs> <laughs> you mean that before my holidays I wasn't uh, good enough just for you. I wasn't kidding nice enough. you were um, that okay, much I will, nice just I will do my best to be too. way better every day Ah, I was just kidding. You were just perfect before leaving and perfect once you came back. Anyhow, uh, it was a joy to have all of you today. And let's call it a wrap up. We'll finish. And the video should be available from 24 to 48 hours. And we'll see each other next week, hopefully. Um, if you have any question, doubt, or whatever, we have the GitHub issues. We have the um, Gitter channel. And of course, the mail, just in case all of these wouldn't work anymore. So don't hesitate uh, and please commit and push regularly, even if that does not work. Of course, okay. you have to follow your job. Yes, it's easy. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Forks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good end of the day. Bye-bye.